uh, wildflowers. I think these are asters. Are really coming up now. Most of the Indian paintbrush, these little orange ones, most of them are done. And there's some Coreopsis, I think it's called. Where is it? Right there. Got some of those coming up, and there's different color ones. And some of this uh, purple stuff, I call it bee balm. I'm sure it's got an official name. But uh, those little, it makes like little tassels, and there'll be two, three, four on some of the plants. And bees just go nuts over them. But those are all throughout here. Man, the bees are just killing it today. They are enjoying this uh, nice sunny weather. So we've got uh, 30 hives. That one right there is 28. And 29 and 30 are back to the left in the woods. And these right here are nukes that I was going to sell. Uh, these are splits off of the other hives. But I've had the hardest time this year uh, with my queens getting mated. They'll go off and they won't come back. So the, they're, the uh, second one from the right is good to go. Uh, the one on the right has a virgin queen in there haven't checked her lately and the third from the right it's queenless and the one on the left is queenless but uh, i have uh, put frames in there with uh, eggs and they have queen cells they're working on making a queen so they're going to get a second shot and we'll see how it goes but uh looks like i'm only going to have one and of these 30 Six of them are having a hard time requeening, so uh, I may have to use that nuke to uh, take care of one of these. So it's time to start uh, kind of thinking about honey harvest and what it's going to look like. So uh, right now, well, last week I checked, uh, and I think I have about as much as I had last year, and I had, I think, around 500 pounds. Uh, this hive 27. That top box is full and I ran out of the medium boxes that you'd normally use for honey, so I had to start using deeps. So uh, they're working on uh, the deep one and that one on the top is full. So the full top one, that, that'll make uh, 40 pounds of honey. And that bottom one there will make, I'm guessing 70 if it's full. So uh, many of the supers are full or almost full only a couple of them they're not touching uh, that one there i know is completely full this hive is weird they use this top entrance it's just a little hole up there and they never have started using the bottom and i don't know why <laughs> uh, two three days ago it started raining and uh, they all rushed back at the same time we're trying to all cram into that little hole and they were all ganged up there and they'd all fall off on the ground. They'd fly back up and then they'd fall off in a ball. They did that four or five times. Crazy bees. I didn't stick around to watch because it was raining. But I guess they all got it sorted out. So over here, <clears throat> so over here, uh, the big honey producers are over here. These hives are the most established. So, uh, this one here <clears throat> has two full boxes on the top, and I put that one on. They probably won't put much in that uh, bottom one. When I say bottom one, I mean this one right here. But uh, So there's 80 pounds of honey right there in those two boxes. Uh, that's not a producer. That's not. Uh, this one is full. That one is full. 
This one is full and I had to put a deep on it because I was out of supers. And uh, I believe that one is full and uh, there's a bee after me. And there's a full one there and one underneath that they're working on. And that one there is full. Then you get over here. Uh, that one there I know is full. There's a double decker there. And this one is uh, eight out of nine frames are full on it. And there's my flashlight I left. These three here, oh, let's see. Those two aren't producing. And that one, one is full. And the other one I think is two thirds full. So, uh, man, we are kicking it on honey this year in spite of the weather. I've got three hives I need to expand into uh, the deep boxes. There's a double-decker nuke that needs put into a, a full-size box. And there's one over right there. When I say full-size box, I mean a box like that, a 10-frame deep. So there are 10 frames in that hive. There's five on top, five on bottom, and it needs converted to this. And then the next step is to go to that. So that's how we uh, expand them and get them ready for winter. And there's two hives back over here. And those are hives where I took the queens out of the hive that was going to swarm and moved them over there in their own hives. So they feel like they swarmed and I kept my bees. Have not had one swarm this year. I've stayed ahead of them. Knock on wood. It's a miracle. Okay, let's get up to the house and do that. There is the front. It's turned out pretty nice. We like the way it looks. For the most part, there's issues. I guess as always. The doors turned out to look okay. I wouldn't say it's great. There's the sign that says, if you come in and track mud, we will <laughs> And uh, they got it stained all up pretty good. The brickers are here. Uh, they're working on the fireplace in the back. So we'll walk around there real quick. Got the sidewalks all done. We have sidewalk uh, completely around the house. So the wife will have more flower beds than she knows what to do with. That brick's there from where they worked on some of this brick over here that didn't match very good. I don't know that they fixed it. We had a couple production runs on the brick. And it didn't match perfectly. But they didn't blend it, so it looked like a line. Anyway, so here's the back. There's the back of the fireplace. And the back porch. Get on around here. Get out of this sun. There we go. So here's the back porch. Nice and big. Got fans out here. My wife was worried this porch would be too small. <laughs> and there's a thing for a TV there that I will never probably ever put there. And here is the fireplace they're working on. Got a nice little arch built there. So I'm assuming they were going to take out this stuff below that and just leave the arch, so we shall see. Nothing would surprise me at this point in this process. So uh, I had them at a uh, gas port right there, and it's sticking way out because uh, there's gonna be a, a bench type seat go around the bottom of this. So that ought to be just a little nub sticking out when they're done. So I told my builder to put it right there and he said, no problem. And I came home one day and it was sticking out the back. I said, dude, that's not where I said to put it. And he said, oh, well, I didn't think you'd want it sticking out the side. 
<laughs> oh, it never ends. Anyway, let's uh, head inside and check that out real quick. Uh, here's the back flower beds, AC units. Hey, Maggie. So we've got uh, these little dual or ductless mini splits. One does the upstairs room and we have one in our bedroom uh, to give us extra cool uh, without having to cool the whole house if we want it. And uh, so that there's one in our bedroom and there's the main mega unit. I don't know how many ton that is, but boy, it's a big dude. I looked on the uh, plate there and I can't see anything that says tons or a number that looks like thousands. It looks like it might be the, the tonnage, but uh, I don't know. I'm guessing it's six or eight. And notice the garage door color. Okay. And here's the side door, door color. Which one is not like the other? <laughs> okay. Do not track in. Okay, let's go in. Okay, all the flooring is in. And uh, this is the side entry. There's some mud bench. And all the cabinets. And the uh, wife's in here cleaning. She made me take my shoes off. And uh, this is the... Uh... Hello, please take your command. <laughs> what was that? Oh, that was that sweeper. Uh, this is vinyl plank flooring, a uh, real thick mill. It's not ceramic and it's not real wood. But uh, we wanted to go with that. And here's a little bathroom off the garage. All done. And going this way. So that goes into the kitchen living area. So this way is our uh, bedroom. This is a pantry. So that's one pantry. There's another one right here. It's a walk in. And it goes all the way back. And this is underneath the stairwell right here. Kind of a broom storage area. And going this way. So this is a thing that we had laid out special for our house. So this is a circle all the way around here. So this is the utility room. Washer and dryer are going to go here. Have a sink in here, all the cabinets, a little place to hang stuff. That uh, pull-out ironing board goes in that drawer there. Lots of storage in here. And those cabinets up there are high. I don't remember how high the ceilings are in here, but I can't reach it. And I'm 6'2". Here's our water manifold. And that's got a cover that goes over it. Still needs labeled. I'll probably have to bug them about that. And this is the closet of the master bedroom. So this uh, door here is a sliding door that's supposed to go right here. And uh, it hangs here, but there's an interference issue with that. So they're gonna have to cut that off shorter and figure that out. So didn't see that coming. So here's the closet. So you can do your laundry in the closets right here. Uh, these top things are supposed to have a pull down thing so you can get to it. So the walk-in closet is off of the bathroom. And there's like a makeup station thing. Hey, and a mirror. And missing the mirror here still couple sinks. Uh, still have to get the uh, shower door, the sliding door. And here's the tub. And I griped at him about the tub because it was loose. And now look at this. 
thing is just sitting there. The only thing that's keeping it to the ground is the water lines, probably. So I'm going to have to gripe at him about that. And to fix that, he's probably going to pull this tub out. Oh. The doors will go over that. All that ship lapped in there. And the toilet's in here. And then this is the master bedroom. And there's our little unit that I was talking about that give us extra cool. So that's in addition to the normal uh, air conditioner vents. So if we want to make our bedroom 65 at night, we can crank that down and we don't have to make the whole house 65. Okay. Battery's getting low. I need to hurry. It's a little bar right here. Living area. Fireplace. There's the sliding doors. Kitchen. Island. So the last video, the island granite wasn't in yet. So that's the island granite. And the other granite is a kind of a flat finish, darker. And the stove's not in because they didn't run 220, so they had to come back and do that. We are on natural gas, but the, uh, the stove part of this is electric. And I guess nobody saw that coming. But anyway, there's all that. And here's the fridge and a bar over there. Staircase, they're working on that. So they started painting on these with nothing on the carpet. And we uh, straightened them out on that. And they came over and taped it off and covered it up. Here's my office. Yay. So going to pull all the Cat 6 wires here. Cat 5, Cat 6, whatever it takes. And my wireless router is going to go right there. Still got the missing door, but they're working on that. <laughs> And the, these two shelves will go right up here. So it'll make a good background with my drone sitting there for YouTube videos. <laughs> and there's my view. Beehives are right down there. Okay, I'll go over to this other side. Oh, here's the China area. This is a formal dining spot right here. And all this is glass, so this is like a china thing. And the bar for that. And here's this other side with the two bedrooms. Not much to say about these. It's got normal closets in here. This one we put extra hang up space for uh, like dresses and stuff. Here's the little bathroom, two sinks. And of course they didn't cover this tub when they did anything. So it's covered with grout, foam insulation. Idiots. And this is the back room. Only thing cool about this is I got my data center in here. So there's coax and cat five and security and all that. That's the uh, spinal cord of all that. And we'll run upstairs real quick and we'll be done. What are you doing in here? Hmm. Okay, up here real quick. Ooh, it's warm up here. This is the upstairs room. We added on these bookcases. And the dormers. And TV's going to go right here. This is going to be kind of the where grandkids hang out. And another big bookshelf. This area here has the, the hard floor for like doing crafts. 
and you don't have to worry about it getting on the carpet. <laughs> and we got, so that's all closet there all the way down. Nothing special about that. And this is the air unit for up here. So uh, yeah, we chose to have its own little system. So if we don't want to cool this room, we don't have to, or we could keep it set like at 80 in the summer, right? So, and if you come up here, you can kick it on, save on energy. This is a real energy efficient house. It has a foam. The whole underside of the roof has thick foam. And here's our air unit. And apparently all of our ceiling fan boxes. <laughs> Luxair, I hope that's a good one. All right. Let's head out and close this thing out. Okay, let's finish this off out in the garage. Here's our security system panel. So here's the garage. They put in some nice LED lights, man. It is like a supernova out here. <laughs> so that little fridge there is going to go underneath that little bar there in the hall. And uh, here's the door, the missing doors. It's like, I don't know why you can't do them all at the same time. And shutters, funny story. So we said we wanted one by shutters uh, for those little windows that are up over the main windows. And that's what they made. So those are, I'd say they're thicker than a two by four. So, but we, Made our own, right here. And uh, just out of scrap lumber I picked up from around here, the cedar they left laying out. So I grabbed all of that. And uh, this beam here is, uh, that's the to go over the fireplace somewhere on the outs outdoor one. And that's about it. So also out here is, this little closet here and there's space for a water softener which we're on city water and we have a tankless hot water heater maybe in says it's 120 degrees got the overflow here and drain now that drain there is from the upstairs air conditioner the mini split. So with that, I'm going to end the video here in the garage. And uh, I'm sure this was a very long video and I apologize, but uh, not much I can do about that to show you everything. But a lot of people have been asking about the house, so that gives you a, a good shot of it. Uh, and uh, might be the last one I do. I don't know how comfortable I am showing everyone uh, the inside of my house. <laughs> but I uh, appreciate y'all watching. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you're a beekeeper and wish uh, you saw a beekeeping video instead, well, you probably didn't make it this far. But there will be more beekeeping videos. I'll keep those coming. So we'll catch you all on the next uh, video. And y'all take care. Another little short bonus clip. Uh, this is uh, the flower bed down by the tornado bunker. <laughs> and uh, it's coming in nice. Got these uh, petunias coming in now. I don't know what the names of the plants are she's put in here, except the petunias. Uh, those are marigolds, I know those. 
that uh, there's a clematis on each side of this trellis. So that'll be uh, going up that. And uh, got some ground cover down here to kind of cover this up going. And that side over there needs a little bit more work. Got these planted, these little areas here. Haven't done a bunker video yet for those wanting to know what the inside looks like. I'll do that one of these days. And there's this one over here. Kind of hard to see in the sun. But these ones over here are the ones that are really starting to come in looking nice. So this is shady most of the time in here. And we got this little trellis put up. Some hostas, begonias. I call that monkey grass. I don't know what it is. That's all. Thanks for watching.